Um, I... I don't know how to start this video. I wrote down a full plan for this video. Uh, I wrote down everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, because this, this video is, uh, I... <laughs> I don't know how to start it. I don't know where to begin. I have been gone um, almost a year and a half, it's been, that I've been off of YouTube. Um, in this video, I <laughs> I, mean, I look like I'm at church right now. <laughs> Everybody get out your Bibles! Actually, no, th these are my notes. You don't know what they say. Um, I miss you guys. I love you guys. If you're watching this video, I can't thank you enough for caring about where I've been or who I am, considering it's been this long. Um, but we're going to do this. Also, please give me your best church boy roast in the comments below. Um, I've been depressed for the last year and a half. I'm going to talk about that. Um, things are a lot better now. Just, just to get that out of the way, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I wouldn't come back to my channel if I was still as depressed as I was. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about where I've been, what I've been doing, uh, show you guys some new stuff I've, I've done, I've made new music, and talk about the new me, the new Robert, the new Robert IDK, the new person that you're looking at, because a lot has changed. I could go on forever apologizing to you guys about disappearing and being gone for over a year. Um, but I don't think you guys need to hear that. Um, I would rather make it up to you guys with what is happening next. So I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to open up to you guys about a lot of things. I left YouTube in September of 2018. In order to properly tell this story, I need to take you guys back to the beginning of 2018. Now during 2017, I was living in England with my friend Brandon and we were making videos together and it was a very fun and interesting time in my life. I was really in a groove of making videos, I was making lots of creative stuff and I was doing videos with Brandon and those videos were doing super super well. A lot of people got really into them and it kind of became a regular thing for me. At the end of 2017, around Christmas time, I went back to Canada to spend time with my family and me and Brandon were planning on moving to Canada together. We were planning on getting a house in Canada and making videos together and just continuing what we were doing, which was super, super fun. And around this time, early 2018, my mental health was like the best it's ever been. I was meditating every day. I was super focused. I knew what I was doing. I, I got my work done pretty easily. And I was just motivated and super excited and just, I was doing well. And I was managing my, my issues better than I usually do. Have a great day and a great tomorrow. You are great. Your hair looks beautiful today. And so fast forward to February 2018, uh, I end up getting a house in Canada and it's the house that me and Brandon are planning on moving into. I don't want to go into too many details here because it's not necessary and I want to respect Brandon's privacy, but uh, at one point or another he decided he didn't want to move to Canada with me anymore and he just canceled the plan. Um, I still had the house that we, you know, rented out together and it just didn't happen. So I was by myself. I did end up living with a couple friends and that really helped me a lot because if I was in that house by myself, I would have gone even more crazy than I already did. But during that time, me and Brandon, our relationship kind of fell apart. Um, again, I'm not going to go into any details and please don't ask Brandon about this. Please don't bother him. Respect his privacy and respect my privacy on this. Um, but we had a bit of a falling out and so obviously weren't making videos together anymore. And I also want to say really quick, um, I still love and respect Brandon. Our videos that we did together are still, they make me die laughing every time I watch them. Um, I'm really thankful for the time that we had together and I do really hope that Brandon's doing well right now. So when this happened, it did kind of mess me up a little bit. It really threw me off. It kind of threw off all the plans that I had and I kind of started to slip. My mental health started to slip. I became a lot more pessimistic and I tried to just keep making videos and fighting through it and doing my best, um, but it wasn't working. And my healthy habits that I had established weren't really there anymore. And I just kind of found myself falling into this hole. And it happened slowly over time, but it, I got to a very negative headspace. And even though I was trying my best not to be in it, I just couldn't avoid it. And my videos started coming out less frequently and I couldn't focus on my videos anymore. I didn't know what I was doing with my life. I didn't know what the next step was for me. And I started to slip really bad. And you may have noticed that during this time, 
I kind of stopped being Robert Eddie K. I kind of stopped being the same person on camera that I was before. I was obsessed with Cody Ko at the time and I tried to be him essentially. I started doing these like rant videos and they were fine. They, they weren't bad videos. I don't think they're bad videos, but they're not me. I kind of really lost myself during that time and I really didn't like myself and I resented myself and I was trying to be something I wasn't and I, I've done this so many times where I just, my self-esteem is so bad that I, I try to be someone else. And so you may notice near the end of 2018, my videos were a lot angrier and just less lighthearted and less funny. And that was just a result of the headspace that I was in. I couldn't understand the fact that Robert IDK was already a good YouTuber that you guys enjoyed and you wanted me to be me and not something else. I just wasn't happy anymore. And it got to a point in like July, I think, where I ended up taking a month break off of YouTube. And then I came back thinking I'd feel better, but I didn't. And then a few months later, I just kind of stopped posting. Right around when I stopped posting, I decided to hit up my friend Matthias, uh, who, I mean, a lot of you probably know who Matthias is. I probably don't need to explain this. But he's someone I really respect and someone who's been on YouTube for ever. And he's done thousands of videos. He's really creative, really smart, and I really respect his opinion. And I reached out to him and asked him, what should I do? What should I do next? And he gave me some really good advice. And by the end of the call, I kind of realized that I didn't want to be alone anymore and I wanted to work with other people. And as a result, I ended up getting a job working with him. And so I packed up my things and moved to Los Angeles. And I'm here now. I've been here for almost a year. For the last year now, I've been editing for Matthias's channel called Doper Nope. I had kind of realized that I'm very bad at motivating myself if I'm working by myself. I've always felt that like when I'm working for other people and there's people that I can let down if I don't do my work, then I'm good at getting stuff done and I'm efficient. But when I'm working for myself and there's not really a consequence, I can't get fired from working for myself. It's been really hard for me to work to my full potential, and I was really tired of that. So for the last year, I've been working full time for Matthias, and it's been good. I have edited the last like 120 videos on the Doper Nope channel, and I've made an impact, you know? I've been a part of something big, and that's made me happy. It's been really nice, and there are a lot of people who enjoy my work on that channel. And you can go and check it out if you want to see it. But my mindset during this time was that working on something else would give me the motivation to work on my own things as well. So my plan was when I moved to LA, I would be working on Doper Nope during the day and working on my channel in the evening. And that didn't happen. I found that as time went on, it became harder and harder to come back. Robert Eddie K and the person I was and all that was really starting to slip away. And even though I had things in my life making me happy, I was still depressed. Everything kind of came to a climax in October of last year when I realized that I had big problems. I realized that I had more problems than just ADD. I've always done so much to try and work on my mental health, whether it be exercising, eating right, sleeping at the right time, meditating, all of these different things. But there were issues that I couldn't handle on my own, I realized, and I had to allow myself to accept that. And so I went to the doctor and I went to therapy and I've been treating my depression for the last few months now and it's changed my life. I didn't realize it until a couple months ago, but I had been in this hole ever since the beginning of 2018 and I haven't been the person that I was before since then, but I finally am. And not only am I that person, but I'm a better version of that person and I can be better and I'm making progress and I'm going to be the best person I've ever been. I'm meditating again, I'm writing in my journal again, and I'm just not being a jerk to myself. I wouldn't ever admit it, but I kind of hated myself. I felt like I had the potential to do amazing things and have this giant level of success, but if I didn't manage to reach all of that and do all the things that I knew I could do, I was garbage. On any given day where I knew that I should be working on videos, if I just wasn't feeling it and I couldn't bring myself to work on that day, I would beat myself to a pulp. I would feel like garbage and feel like I don't deserve anything. And I don't do that anymore. I forgive myself and I realize that I don't have to be everything that I can possibly be.
and not beating myself up over things like that has really changed my life. I was such a perfectionist. I, f I felt like everything had to be perfect. Otherwise, it wasn't worth doing it. And that's a big reason why my videos always came out so slowly, why it took me so long to come back to YouTube, why I'm even still, you know, very apprehensive about making this video. I'm, I'm still afraid of this video being boring, but I'm so much better than I've been. And I truly do believe in myself again. And things have changed. So anyways, enough of the sadness, okay? That is all of the serious stuff. Um, let's talk about fun things. Let's talk about what's changed. I didn't just sit around with my what? in my hand the entire last year. I did do some cool stuff. <laughs> One thing you may have noticed is that I have, ugh. I have tattoos now. Uh, there's a few on my arm and then like a bunch on my leg, but I'm wearing pants and I'm not gonna take them off. Not, not in this video at least. I've always wanted to have tattoos, I was just always afraid to do it. And then in 2018, I was kind of just like, F it, let's start. <laughs> so that's cool. I've kind of uh, grown into that part of my identity. Also, probably more important than that, I have some new music. I put out a new EP over the summer. It's called Stop Thinking and Just Do. And it's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. Actually, I don't know if iTunes is a thing anymore. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music, Google Play, whatever. I'll do my best to put the links in the description. I did my first like serious original song and it's on that EP. It's called Your New Boyfriend Sucks. And here's a clip from it. You went off and lost my trust And I wish I didn't care so much Oh, when baby, by the way I just wanna say your new boyfriend sucks I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please stream it if you like it. That would make me really happy. I also have a TikTok account for music. Uh, I don't post on it that often, but I think it's just a fun thing to do when I really feel like making music. Here it is. Talk is overrated. Let's just vibe. It's called Robert in His Room. Go follow me on there if you use TikTok. Also, I'm doing cameos again. So if any of you guys want a short, like two to three minute video where I talk to you about whatever you want, maybe wish you a happy birthday, sing you a little song, whatever you want, uh, my cameo link is in the description. Uh, you can check that out. This is a fun thing that I like to do. From now on, this channel is just gonna be dedicated to funny and fun things. I'm not gonna do any of my serious music stuff on here uh, because because it's kind of not smart to do that on YouTube. And so I'm just gonna focus on the funny, silly, classic Robert Eddie K reaction style videos now. I will still be doing music, but it won't be here. And right now I'm taking a bit of a break from it because I'm getting back to this for now. So I've actually already filmed my first three videos back and I'm really excited for you guys to see them. I was really nervous thinking that I wouldn't be good at it anymore. I wouldn't be able to like, be as funny as I was before and recreate the vibes from before. But I actually feel really good about it. I think I've done a pretty good job and I'm really excited for you guys to see them. Uh, I'm gonna start with kind of the classics, the things that I know will do decently well. I've got Try Not To Get Anxiety Challenge coming out soon. That actually might be coming out tomorrow. That might be, I think that's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> no way. This is terrifying! I've got reacting to dank memes sent by you guys. And then I have an annoying images video that I did with my friend Tanner. And in my house, if you cut the trees, <laughs> you're the funny man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really happy with all of them. And they're gonna come out over the next week or so, or couple weeks or whatever. I think my plan right now is to post every Saturday and Wednesday. And I know that's a lot considering I have a job as well, but the way that that's gonna work is because I have a friend of mine who's helping me out with the edits. I still edit all of my videos, but helps me cut them down to a reasonable length so that I don't have quite as much work to do and I can get videos out faster to you guys. And I'm really excited about that. Yes! So yeah, I'm freaking pumped, you guys. I'm freaking pumped to be back. I really cannot thank you guys enough for waiting. You didn't have to do that. I don't expect everyone to still be around. That's fine. Um, I've still got you. <laughs> And I can't thank you enough for, for sticking around. And I am confident that we're going to find a lot of new people and we will do fun things. And there's a lot to look forward to. I just am looking forward to having fun with YouTube again because I want to. I crave it. I miss making videos. When I watch my old videos, I, I laugh and I, and I miss it and I'm ready to do it again. But anyways, I'm very thankful that I went through this t crazy mental journey that <laughs> 
that I've been on because I'm here now and I'm the best version of myself that I've ever been. If you are down to come along with me for this little journey here and, you know, I mean, watch a couple videos of mine a week, I guess. Not a, not a crazy commitment, but... If you are someone who loved my videos before and miss the Robert in front of his computer laughing at silly stuff, you're going to like what's coming next. I feel like it is the same crazy nonsense that we had before, and I think you're going to be really happy. So if you want to come along with me, I would really appreciate it. I have a video coming out tomorrow, and it's going to be the try not to get anxiety challenge and it's really funny and I think you'll enjoy it. So if you haven't, turn on post notifications so you know what's going on. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you haven't done that because I've been posting on there over the last year in case, you know, any of you guys actually thought I legit died. Anyways, I didn't want this video to be too long, but it probably is. I love you so much and I appreciate you waiting for me. You guys really, really mean a lot to me. I'm so lucky to have an audience like you guys and a lot of people, it, sound, it seems like I'm begging to you guys. <laughs> a lot of people would do a lot to be in my position and be lucky enough to have people like you uh, stick around and I don't take it for granted. So anyways, onward and upward. New video tomorrow and then a new video on Wednesday, and then the next Saturday, and then the next Wednesday, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the plan right now. If I don't do it, I'm not going to beat myself up for it. <laughs> thank you for waiting. I love you guys so much. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good one. I'll see you soon.